family car guy. Uh, I apologize. It has been quite some time since I posted my last video. So Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, uh, whatever you celebrate. Um, Happy New Year to you. And I hope you guys had a great holiday break. Um, I know I did, hanging out with my family, uh, which is one of my favorite things about uh, this time of year. We are in the thick of winter here in Minnesota. Uh, we The last two days, I think it was like 40 degrees, which was unseasonably warm, so a lot of people are out here washing their cars. Today, we are back in the thick of it, 11 degrees, snow predicted in the forecast. Prior to it being 40 degrees, it was like a high of negative two on average. I mean, it was just, it was horrible. Um, but you know, when you grow up here, when you live here, you get used to it. You drive your four wheel drive SUV and you move on. Anyway, it is that time to discuss what's going on with the channel. What are we planning on doing? Today's topic though, before I get into that is, should you join? a Corvette club. So I'm thinking about joining a Corvette club because in the summertime, I think it's good to build relationships with people who share the same interests as you. Um, I know there's kind of a lot of stigma around Corvette clubs and in general and car clubs in general, depending upon what kind of car club it is, you know, whether that be a, you know, Corvettes, whether that be Porsche, whether that be some exotic car club, whether that be like an old school muscle car club or what have you. And to be honest, some of the car clubs that I've seen around here in the Twin Cities at least, and I'm sure this may be similar around certain parts of the country, is you see a lot of people, like especially Corvette clubs for, for example, you see a lot of people sitting around, hanging out in a parking lot, and just kind of parking their cars and drinking their beer or whatever the case may be and just you know it's kind of it's not really really interactive plus the age demographic uh tends to skew older which i know you know shocker there right um uh, but it would be nice to to see a club that a corvette club that you know had some more younger people i know my corvette life for example he joined a club and it, it sounds like his his experience so far has been pretty positive so, um, so thinking about doing that. Um, also, I, I do think it's good when you, when you join any kind of a community, for those of you who own Corvettes and you're not a part of something like Corvette forums or things like that, it's good to join some kind of a community because it's, it's always good to get firsthand experience um, or get a firsthand story from someone who has owned a Corvette or owned whatever car that you're interested in. It's better to do that in my opinion, than to read online reviews of people that you can't talk to face to face, or you know, obviously read a bunch of marketing speak and just kind of leave it at that. It's always good if you can talk to somebody who has actually owned whatever you are currently driving or aspire to be driving, or if you are looking at upgrading your car, what kind of performance parts, maintenance, things like that. You know, there's a there's a guy in my neighborhood. I don't I don't want to you know go into detail who he is just because I want to protect his privacy, but. Ultimately, he's got a 2007 Le Mans Blue uh, Corvette Z06. So his car is absolutely beautiful and he's gotten the head cam package done. He's gotten the intake, he's got the headers. He's uh, He actually kept his exhaust factory uh, and with all the mods he's done, I don't really think there's any reason for him to, to change it to anything but factory because of the fact that it sounds so good just with the mods that he's done to this point. So it was really, really good to talk to him and hear his perspective on how he's modified his his car and, and in terms of what his goals were in terms of drivability and things like that. So, um, so uh, that was really good. So that's just an example of how you can make use of the community, obviously. And I asked him actually, are you a part of a car club? He actually said no. So, and he's probably, you know, he's, he's definitely significantly older than me. So I just wanted to hear his thoughts on that. And he just kind of said, yeah, I don't really, I just, I prefer to just kind of drive the car and, and do my own thing on my own schedule and not really be a part of a group, which is his choice. You know, I, I, I value the stories almost as much as I value owning the car, you know, and that's why for me, I'm heavily considering 
joining a car club. So you guys, give me your thoughts. What do you guys think about joining a Corvette club? You know, in terms of, you know, what are the things you look for? Those of you who have, have joined Corvette clubs or joined car clubs in the past or thinking about it, what are your criteria? You know, there's several clubs around here in the Twin Cities. They have dues that vary from, I think, 25 bucks a year all the way to like, I think 85 bucks a year or something like that. They meet usually on a, re a monthly basis. Um, they, some of the clubs, they've been around since the, since the 60s. Um, some guys used to drive up at Brainerd International Raceway, which is which is a fairly uh, fairly well known track up here in uh, was well, actually about two hours north of the Twin Cities. So there's there's a lot of history, uh, at least in the Corvette clubs that I've seen so far up here in the Twin Cities. So I would love to hear people's criteria, people's thoughts about you know in terms of you know people who are younger as well. Uh, what do you want to get out of a car club? For me, I want to be able to go drive. I don't necessarily want to just sit in the parking lot and, and, and kind of tailgate. I would like to go and drive. I don't necessarily want to um, just have, you know, meetings and things like that. Like part of it is actually, you know, really getting into the history and getting into the, into the enjoyment of the cars. And, and, you know, one of the clubs I know, they do get into some racing, hold, hold some racing events, which is good. because That's definitely something that I'm looking into doing. Um, also, hopefully in the summertime, if we're talking about New Year's resolutions, I don't really have any uh, channel specific resolutions. Um, it's just kind of, I just, you know, I, I really want the channel to be something that I enjoy. I don't necessarily want it to be something and that you guys enjoy, not necessarily something that I make a bunch of uh, check boxes on a, on a checklist. Although I do think it is good to have goals. I do have goals for other things in my life. Um, but one of the things I want to do is definitely see if I can get out and meet some, meet some other uh, fellow YouTubers this summer. Uh, that are relatively close to my area. I know we got some great uh, YouTubers up here in the Twin Cities. You know, we definitely have, or, or, or in the Midwest area. I know 13 Scorpios over in Milwaukee. Uh, my guy, uh, Tall Guy Car Reviews, is killing it up here in the Twin Cities. I think he's traveling the country right now, but um, he's got a Hellcat and he's he's doing really, really well. So we do have some 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 great talent and some, some great YouTube uh, community up here, so I hope I hopefully I can collaborate with those guys. Um, my wife loves to travel, so hopefully I can go nationally and meet some meet some people as well. And um, and yeah, we can continue to make some great content for the channel. Lastly, before I go, the C4, the first mod, winter mod, not really a winter mod, but the first mod I'll be doing this winter will be coming up in the next week or so. Hopefully, if shipping and all that stuff comes through the way I think it will uh, and we will get this project C4 kicked off and underway uh, until then guys take care have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next one peace out